In this video, we will look at the path trimming feature in ToonSquid. With path trimming, you can animate the visible percentage of a path. In the ToonSquid demo animation, this is used in multiple places. For example, here at the beginning for the circles, for the road, and here for all of these line animations. When we have a shape like this that we've drawn with the path tool, we can open the layer properties and scroll down to the trim sliders. Here we have two sliders, one for the trim at the beginning of the path and one for the trim at the end. Dragging the sliders changes the visible percentage of the path. Of course, we can add keyframes to these properties in order to animate them. Let's switch into the keyframing mode and let's just get rid of these other properties that we don't care about right now. Now we can go to where we want the entire path to be visible and add a new keyframe. If we now go back to the first keyframe and reduce the end trim to zero, the line will increase in length over time. Let's do the same thing for the start trim, but this time with an offset. This keyframe here causes the start trim to stay at zero until this point, and then we add a new keyframe here at the very end and set the start trim to 100%. Let's take a look at what that did. You can see how these trim properties make it possible to create many different interesting line animations. You can of course also use this on shapes from the shape library. Let's add a circle and change it from being filled to only have a stroke. The quickest way to do that is by swapping the two colors here in the color picker. Let's also reduce the stroke width and give it a round cap style. Here's how we can create the animation of one of the rings from the start of the demo animation. Just like we did it before, we animate the end trim from 0 to 100% using two keyframes. We can also add a quadratic easing curve in order to make the movement a bit more organic. Now you notice that this doesn't yet look like the demo animation. The trick here is to also animate the rotation of the circle. We add a new rotation keyframe and rotate the layer by 360 degrees. Now we have the animation that we want.